One of the big things that I'm seeing is a lot of organizations now are looking across different multiple data sources to solve bigger, broader organizational HR issues. And they're using people analytics and more advanced statistical methods to merge these different data sources to drive insights. The next piece that I'm seeing in people analytics that's very exciting is that we're seeing a lot more support from all the leaders across the organization. I think that the appetite for people analytics in general has started to really increase. And because we're seeing that buy-in from senior leaders, um, we're seeing a lot more momentum pick up in the people analytics space. And the third is the fact that we're really starting to get to more predictive and prescriptive analytics. We've moved past this notion of just using lagging indicators and, and general reporting to now being able to take uh, those data sources that I talked about earlier and use them to drive actual predictions and to be prescriptive and to, and to use these decisions to drive uh, broader workforce uh, initiatives. Uh, nowadays, analytics plays a very important role in learning. Uh, not only does analytics help you decide what kind of results you can achieve from your learning programs, yeah. it also helps you optimize what kind of delivery vehicle do you need to impart training, be it face-to-face -face interactions, uh, be it ILT, be it virtual classrooms. So uh, analytics helps you decide which is the best medium to reach out to your learners. Across the world, if you look at organizations, a large majority have identified that analytics is going to be in the top five priorities that they would like to invest in in this, in this particular year. This is the first time we are seeing that how you can measure the productivity or return of investment all on the HR investments that you do. What started with reporting moved into advanced reporting to visual analytics in terms of data visualization to descriptive and then prescriptive analytics. So organizations are in different phases of the journey. Analytics, as you know, is, um, is the profession of the future. Just to give you a sense, in the last maybe 15 years, mankind has created more data than uh, mankind had created in its rest of the history. And the trend I'm observing is that there is a huge footfall, a huge amount of interest among, uh, uh, among people to get into um, the analytics industry as a whole and it's a very exciting and a dynamic field in the sense that as more and more uh, data gets generated, big data and so on, a lot of the techniques of what you can do with it are also evolving.